the cheek up oh. Everybody put their hands up in the air I'm Mr. Ram And DJ Pulo Truck number two Kent and Flosso Walk one it was December. You released the... Eh, 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 hold on. That wasn't in the rehearsal. <laughs> Have you ever seen an actually watching pornography? It's the funniest thing ever. For them, they don't know movie titles. For them, they think any title with the word fire is a movie, action movie title. The man went and saw a movie title called Candy on Fire. He said, eh, I think this one is for John Rambo. He took it home, put it in the DVD. Then this uh, movie is just a, uh, okay, it's uh, a play. And you know my people from the north, they talk after the movies. It has now started. Mm, featuring Candy. Uh, Candy, I think, is the one who's going to die. Yeah, okay. Can ah, Candy is in the shower. Hey. I think she was dirty. Mm. Then somebody rings. Ding, ding. Ah, she has received a visitor. And you see, she's walk. Why doesn't she put on any clothes? Maybe she's aware of the visitor in the moves. Then opens and it's a plumber. It's a plumber. I think the toilet is broken. These toilets of nowadays, I don't understand. Then he goes, now you know when the plumber is down working, qua, 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 tells the woman, check if it's working. The woman puts one leg here, one leg here, and she's opening the tap. So, ah. This is, this is not John Rambo. Hey. Then he realizes it is a pawn. Hey, he poses. Oh. This one, if they see me. Ah, this man. Ah. <laughs> the woman even has no panty. Then now, you know, the man gets up, they start undressing, they start that thing. Say, mm. Madam, it's not supposed to go there. Hey, I think this woman is a musoga. <laughs> How are you, man? Thank you for supporting Madrat and Chico. Honorable Zake, what's up? Honorable Zake! Mwani muge nakunku vye migo. Ha ha ha! I remember Bobby Wine called me. Salvador. Say chiri ho. Say te wali rasta. Say chiri ho. Say de mwana. You are one of the most influential people in Uganda. I need your support. I said to do what? He said, the man, government, he ingi zao OTT. I asked him, bie 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 he said, Mwana, nange sima nina ye taxi. I said, kato njaga zaachi. He said, tuina press conference. I said, where? Hotel Africana. He said, what do you want me to do? He said, I want you to air your view about OTT. He said, no problem. Hey, the place was full. Zake was there. He didn't speak because I think there's an English problem. Zake, other ministers, Joel Serunjoji, what? There was cameras, hey, everybody, paparazzi, full. Hey, they gave everybody the microphone. Bobby Wine first made this speech, I said, wow. Impressive. They gave APAS. Oh, yeah, 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 you know, APAS speaks useless. Then they gave me the microphone. I didn't know any political word apart from impunity. I looked into the cameras. I said, this tax is an impunity on our rights. Oh, people clapped in the audience. Thank you, Salva. Thank you. Then after me, they gave Spice Diana. She was there. This tax. 
on social media the next day people are praising me Salvador you are the future leaders thank you for supporting us you are the ones fighting for our rights social media everyone was I said hey Bobby Wine called me the second time Salvador I said hey he said we have another one I said where ya he said Centenary Park I was there Eight, many people. This time now, we had international paparazzi. We had Al Jazeera, BBS, CNN. They were all there. They gave everybody the microphone. When it was my turn, I said, this tax is an impunity <laughs> on our rights. Woo, people on social media, Salvador, thank you for being consistent. <laughs> At least you have not forgotten what to say. God bless you. Thank you for fighting for our rights. I said, eh. This time I'm the one who called Bobby Wine. Bobby, what is next? He told him, this time we are taking it a notch higher. I said, what do you want me to do? He said, we are going to the streets. I said, to do what? He said, to protest. I said, okay. <laughs> the day came. The Zarkes were on the street. This tax must go. This tax must go. Apas was there. What? This tax must go. Before I knew it, the others... <laughs> People were scattering everywhere. My phone was ringing. My family was concerned. They were calling me. I said, who are these people calling me? When I picked up, they said, hey, Salvador, are you okay? I said, yeah, what's up? I said, man, we are watching on the TV. They are beating people tear gas. I said, even me, I'm watching. <laughs> Did you see how Bobby Wine escaped? He had bouncers. They fought police. He escaped. He started running downtown. A designer saw him from the distance. Bobby, my president, come. He got a shirt, gave him, fitting. Got a jacket, gave him, fitting, no measurements. Got a cape, gave him, fitting. Bobby one put it on and he escaped through the police. You know that Choli people, for them, they follow color. He was putting on red. <laughs> Bobby one managed to escape. Look at my size. Imagine I was the one running. Salvador, our comedian, come. Salvador, come closer. Oh, why? Oh, yambala size. Then later I realized the government collected some money. We bought bombardiers. You people don't know the beauty of flying non-stop. A direct flight from point A to point B without being interrupted. We don't have that in Uganda because we have to use transit flights. We now have bombardiers. And the people who sell these aeroplanes are the hostesses. But Chica, ever, never, never. Four times, never. We shall lose. You are arrogant and you are rude. And will come and say, okay, we are about to take off. So sit. Put on your seatbelt if you don't want to get out. Banyankore, arrogant. You people are many. You are many. Anyway, sit. Relax. Feel free. Put on your seatbelt. If you don't want to read it, <laughs> read it. We gave you peace. We are giving you seatbelts. What more do you want from us? <laughs> Batoro, never. The flights will always delay. Greeting alone will be two hours. I would. I chari ni kororo kureva. I mukai kuru non sekesa ni nguruka. Never. <laughs> The best would be Baganda. Let me explain why. The Baganda culture is the only one that has tried to conserve itself. Everybody tries so hard. The queen has a program called Sakat, where they train girls how to peel matoke, how to put on the busuti, how to pull resources for... Pull resources for their future, eh? <laughs> Gathering. Okukungan. Okskaska gundi. 
A pool of resources. Whatever. And as soon as you arrive, I'm going to be like, I'm going to sign so cool. Feba, I'm going to get a way to tea. I saw a Saja Wangale. Muganda will just be there moving, but I'm going to get a way juice over water. You know, they like giving out free things. I'm going to get a way to get a way to get a way to get a and those in the plane will be so nice, you will hear them talking, and they don't give a damn. One will be at the pilot's end, one will be at the tail end. Grace Munang and Kugambechi. Kanzi Jao. Baganda, it will be so nice. The only problem, when you reach, you will not be guaranteed of your luggage. <laughs> you will find people in Uganda Airlines. I remember I packed my bag. It is here. It is just not. <laughs> the other people who would try are the actual.